Hello everyone. Today is November the 29th, 2022. It is about, give or take, about 1 p.m. And I say, it's, it's, the temperature has gone up a little, I'd say it's about three degrees plus with the sunshine. And today I'm going to be walking south, oh sorry, east on Quinpool towards downtown, which is this way. And we will see how far we go. I haven't got a destination in mind. We're going, going down Quinpool Road. I will we'll see where my feet take me. How's that? This is Tuesday. Our week is going by. Hope you're having a, a great week. They're all good, aren't they? They're what we make of them. I see a nice mural. I gotta go over and, and show you this mural over here. It's it's beautiful. I don't know when it got painted, but it looks like it might have been fairly, fairly recent, maybe, perhaps. And we'll have a little look at it right here. Isn't this nice? It's got a city bus, a crane, people on top of the buildings, a train. Everything's included in this picture. Okay, there's the bus. Now let's come over here. There's vehicles in the way, so I have to come over here to, to uh, see everything. There's the train, and cranes up in the sky. Wow, it's beautiful. I don't know how long it's been there, but that's the first I've seen it. All right, we'll get ourselves back over into the street here. Get ourselves back out here into the street, and Continue on eastward. There we are, heading east on Quinpool Road. Well, the last time I saw, I gotta stand back here and show you this. Last time I was on Quinpool, that building there was under construction, which it still is, but it's come a long way since then. They put in the finishing stuff on the outside, making a spot for a store, I suppose. Probably already leased, and there's another one over there. And this building would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight story building right next to the West End Baptist Church. All right, continue on. I just check and make sure everything's good. Pays to keep an eye on my screen because a few times it shot off on me and I wasn't watching the screen and I wasn't even recording for a distance and didn't know it. So I keep my eye on that now so that won't happen anymore. We don't want that to happen. I was by here one day a while ago and I saw a music store a guitar store, a music store, and I never saw it again, but it got me here. If I see it, I'll just uh, feature that a little bit so you'll know where it is. Hopefully I will, I will see it somewhere around here. Oh, I know where I wanted to go. I gotta go back up a little bit here. We'll take this crosswalk up here.
It's all right if I backtrack. It always looks different anyway when you go the other way. Across the street right here at this crosswalk. Right, as long as I'm able to, we'll cross right here. We'll wait here for a green light and then we'll go across. There we go. Get our walk. Get our walk and we'll go over here. Now we want to go this way. All sidewalks closed. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Sidewalk is closed. Well, I'm gonna walk up anyway. Maybe I can just sprint it up past this spot where it's sidewalk is closed. I think I can make it. Sidewalk's closed, so I gotta figure out a way of getting past here. Okay. Don't think the cars be driving through these holes, so they're probably not gonna drive over here anyway. I should be alright. There we go, made it. That one, no big deal. I didn't think the cars would be driving in there anyway. Good. All right. I want to go to McDonald's for a brief time and uh, then I will rejoin you shortly. Okay, I am back from McDonald's and I'm walking east on Quinpool. There we go. Back up and running. Yeah. As we make our way down Windpool. With the construction in the middle of the right, So we will go across. We'll just take a, a walk through the way I did before because I don't want to. I don't want to cross the street again. We'll go through here. Although I may cross the street, we'll see. Indy side is right now. Once this car goes by, I think, oh, nah, I gotta stay here now. It's, hard, it's tricky getting across here without lights because there are a lot of uh, vehicles coming by here. Okay, I can do it right now. Over I go. There we go. I know, I jaywalk a lot. It's my nature. I can't stop now. Okay. Now we'll keep her right up here now until we... I'll try to stay with it. We'll stay with the program until I get this video finished. Okay. <laughs> a loud truck. Whoops, sorry. There we go, okay. Stay focused. Let's see, where are we gonna go when I get down when I get down to Roby? Gotta figure out where I'm going from there.
Well, if all goes well, we don't have any more issues. We will be finishing up this video within the next half hour probably, and then I've got to catch the bus and go home, get ready to go pick up my family from their various jobs. I never saw that music store again either. Whatever it was, it was somewhere on that side of the street. But maybe it didn't last. I don't know. It's possible. Possible it didn't last. And it might be gone. It's hard to make money with a small music store. You gotta go big. You gotta have a big music store with a whole bunch of selection, which means you gotta have a lot of money starting out. You gotta have a, a music store that's gonna work. You gotta have some money. You gotta be able to buy tons of stuff. I know when I go in Long and McQuaid, they've got rows of guitars. They've got lots of stuff in there. And there was a store in, in Toronto where I used to shop a lot with Steve's. Anyone who's a musician been to Toronto, you know Steve's Music Store on Queen Street. And that was a big store. They had an upstairs with brass instruments and they had two sides downstairs. One side with keyboards and um, and that kind of stuff, and acoustic guitars. And then on the other side, they had electric guitars and and uh, loads of them. All different brands, all different kinds, lots of guitars. And that's what people are looking for when they go in a music store. They're looking for a lot of variety. I'm at Vernon Street, and I see a coffee place just across the street. I've had coffee today enough. I think that will wait for another day. Let's have a look and see how this construction site is doing down here. It's starting to climb anyway, isn't it? I gotta go down, I guess, somewhere down here and catch the bus home, but I'm not too sure about that or where it's gonna be. We'll see. We will see. Not sure. Anyway, we'll walk down to Roby.
think I'll go right through the intersection and we'll walk down part of the common. The Halifax Common grassy area with different things down here, different sporting things and all kinds of stuff. Maybe just walk down that way today. Wouldn't be a bad idea, huh? And this walkway is just about to change. So I need to get over here. So when it changes, I'll be able to walk right through here and get on down. A busy intersection right here. We have three lanes of traffic here. We have two over there. We get another direction. And they got like one, two, three, four, five different directions. With cars, you have to. It's a tricky maneuver to go across and make a left on that next one. You got to wait for just the right light. Okay, I'm starting down Cogswell. Cogswell and Roby. You're familiar with the name Cogswell because that's the, the name of the big project downtown that's getting all the attention, the Cogswell project. So we're going down Cogswell and I haven't a clue what time it is right now. I just hope I get home in time to, to uh, Nobody's late getting home. <laughs> I'm late getting there, picking them up. That wouldn't be good. Okay, so I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. We'll see. I think so. What can I do, right? I got to get out and make videos. I, I can't be just sitting in the house waiting to go pick everybody up. So I try my best to... You have equal time where it belongs and not let anybody down. But I need a little time for my my things too. This is the Halifax Common part of it. And so it's over there, which I see some construction going on this year, something that'll probably be revealed next summer, what it is they're doing. And we probably will be walking right past the skating oval, which I'll show you that. I doubt if it's froze yet, it's not cold enough to, to freeze the oval yet, but it's a great thing in the winter, a very good, very good place to practice your speed skating on the oval. Sometimes it feels cold enough for ice, but it's not really, it's just the wind. We always got wind in Halifax in the wintertime. You hardly ever get a day without wind. So I've learned when making videos in Halifax, find a way to, to get out of the wind and make them, and things will go pretty smooth. But if you're walking right in the wind all the time, it can be noisy. So far, I've been able to stay out of it pretty good today. Now I got a little bit of open territory right here. Don't think it's blown quite hard enough to bother me too much. Skating over is right in here. I'm just going to walk in quickly and show it to you. I says, ice making in progress. Please stay off. So I'm just going to walk over and we'll show you the oval. In case you haven't seen it, this is a free place. All these things are there free. It doesn't cost you any money to skate on this. Apparently it's cold enough to freeze. So they're putting the water down to form the ice. Well, I didn't think it was cold enough for that, but apparently it is. And they'll keep layering that till they get a good layer of ice on it. And you can come up here and skate. There's a building over there where you can go in and put your skates on. 
And I think you can rinse casing there, too. I think you just got to sign for them. I don't think you have to pay. As I recall, it's been a while since I've been in there, but I think that's it. In case you're just a casual skater, you don't don't want to spend the money to buy skates, you can, I think you can, you can get them in there. And it's a nice warm place to go in and put your skates on. Okay, that's the skating oval. Just come up Cogswell Street and you'll come to it. And these buildings look like they're new. I don't think they were here before. So I'm not sure what they're going to be. But they look new. All right, this is a... Uh, this is probably the quickest way to get downtown from if you're up on uh, Roby and you're around Quinpool area. By the time you wait for a bus and go all the way down around Spring Garden Road and back up Barrington, you could probably almost walk it. Just go in this direction. So this is the quick, this is the quick route to downtown which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm just going to walk it and I'm not going to take the bus up here. I'm going to walk downtown and where I'm going to end this video and then we'll take the bus and go home. Sounds good? All right. It's not that far from here. I guess those must be generators for power or something in this place. Or what it looks like, generators. My last video, I started off at, at Citadel Hill, which is right over there. That will be the one where it's come up on Wednesday. And this one will be, you'll be seeing it on Friday. I'll get another shot at Citadel Hill, which I'm not going there today. And you can bet it will be windy up there and I'm not even gonna entertain any thoughts of going up there today. I stayed out of the wind pretty well today. There's a few times I got a little bit of wind, but for the most part, I've been able to stay out of the wind, which is good. All right, you're gonna let me go across, good. All right, very good. They stopped and let me cross. I imagine that don't always happen real good. Sometimes you stand there and a few cars will buy while you're standing right there at the crosswalk. But it all went well, so. Okay. This is the, I guess they call it the Cogswell Roundabout right here. Yeah, if that's not what they call it, they know what you meant. If you said Cogswell Roundabout, everybody would know what that was. Hey, look, I'm practically downtown again. It don't take long coming at an angle down through there from Quinpool Road if you come right across the, the walkway by the commons and make your way down there. I'm almost downtown again. And I'm going to catch my bus at at Scotia Square. I probably won't have too long to wait. Well, this has been a great day, a prosperous day for video making. I made two videos today. That's great. I don't do that every day, but some days I have to due to my schedule. I have to make two in one day so I'll have something for the next day. Maynard Street. 
that will take me right over to North Street if I wanted it to. If I wanted to go that way, it'll take me over to North Street. Well, you see the harbor in the background. That building right there is a swimming pool. For anyone who often wondered what that building was driving by, that's a swimming pool. Public pool. And that's Creighton Street down through there, and it'll take you right over to North Street as well. And I'm just about to come to a, another construction job right here on the corner of Cottage and, and Cogswell. Just a small job compared to that one over there or some of the others, but I don't know how high it's going, but we'll take a little look at it here if you like. They fitted it into this little corner because they're looking for space to, to, to build. So there it is. It's not huge, but it's going to have a good sized building here, I guess. There they are. Corner of Goddard Inn and Cogswell. Somebody looked at my gimbal here and said, that's what I'm going to get. I know, it's very appealing to people. I, a lot of people like these. here. It's not uncommon to see military people walking around in Halifax. They have Navy, Army, and Air Force all here. So a very common, very common sight here in Halifax.
Well, I'm almost back to my destination. A little bit more. And I will be at Scotia Square. Where I'm going to shut this video off and wait for my bus. You know why I take the bus over here instead of driving? Because through the week, if you come over to Halifax, you got to pay a lot of money to park. It's cheaper to take the bus than it is to pay for parking with your car. Especially if you're going to be over here all day. It costs a lot. Some of the parking spots through the week are like for a half an hour, some are for an hour, but you pay quite a bit for it. So that's why I don't bring the car over here unless I'm going to an area where I know I can park the car somewhere. It's like, uh, don't tell them, Tim Hortons. Okay, they never heard that. Okay, sometimes I can park there and get away with a few minutes. Or longer. And, but if I'm not going in those areas, I don't bring the car because it's just not worth it. Time, well, I live in Dartmouth. Time I drive across the bridge, I got my toll both ways. And you gas your brake. And then I got to pay for parking on top there. Senior rate for a bus ticket here is only $2. So that's why I. I don't drive over. I don't drive over here when I come over. Only once in a while, depending on the conditions. If it's the right, if I'm going the right place, I can bring the car. Otherwise, if I'm just downtown here walking around, I don't. I don't bring the car. Almost back. I better walk quite a little bit today. I've put on quite a few steps. I didn't do much walking at all yesterday because I had other things to do. Couldn't get out and make a video yesterday, so I didn't do a lot of walking yesterday, but today we're making up for it. I'll find out when I get on the bus. I'll have a look at my, have a look at my, I have an app on my phone telling me how many steps I took and what that transfers into kilometers. So I know I did pretty good today. Yeah. Exercise keeps you young, did you know that? It really does. you want to stay young when you get older, take it from me. I know what I'm talking about here, okay? You get lots of exercise, don't smoke, eat sensibly, and, and, and you will, uh, you'll stay fairly good shape as you age. There's no need to be 70 and have to sit in front of a television in a chair all day. You can walk a lot at 70. You don't have to be. You don't have to be crippled to, to be 70. It's just a number. That's how I look at it. It's just a number. I know I got a few minutes before my bus because my bus just went up the hill. So I got to wait now for, I think they come every 15 minutes here in the afternoon. So I won't have too long to wait. I'll have enough time to pack up my gear. Yeah, then I won't have long to wait at all for the bus. Sounds like a deal, don't it?
Well, I, I'm going to walk right down to the end before I turn off this video. Why not, right? No need to turn it off yet. We'll just, I'll walk down to where I got to wait for the bus and then I'll sign off. I know these streets down here look quite familiar to you. You can probably even tell me that that's City Hall right there. I know you would be able to. If you watch my videos, you'd know that. And you know that the street in front of City Hall, down here where the guy with the yellow jacket is, it would be uh, Barrington. And down below is Water Street. Turn right. Yeah, it's lower water, turn left, it's upper water. So here we are, down in the, in the metropolis again. Right down here in the metropolis, where it all is happening. Halifax, Nova Scotia. Don't believe me? Move to Halifax, you won't regret it. You'll find it's, it's uh, I understand the rents are rising though, which might be a deterrent, but they're still about the same in Toronto, so you're not gonna be ahead any it's a matter where you want to live, but I think it's a, a wonderful city here. It's got everything, all the big stores we had in Toronto, we have them here. Even Long and McQuaid's music stores. We have three of them in Halifax. So you can't beat that, right? Yep. Well, I'm at the... I know we don't look like a bus station, but it is. But this is not where I catch my bus. I catch my bus up here a little bit more. They got a little waiting room in there. I think I can go in and pack up my gear while I'm waiting for the bus. I think. Depends. Depends on if my bus is in. There could be another bus that'll take me to my home. There could be. So we'll inquire when I get down here. Before I. That's, that's, that's not my bus. I'm not sure about this one. Might be. But there's nobody in it right now, so I should be all right. So I'm going in here. Okay, going in here and pack up my gear. This is the bus station. Don't look like one that is. All right, here we are. Well, if you enjoyed this video, push that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I'd love it if you just push that subscribe button. That would help me so much. And with that, I would just want to say, hope you're having a wonderful day. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.